And when I open it, it says, I love that. He just feels like, oh, he really likes me. Or, and I don't want to spoil any of my Christmas gifts. Brock, I hope you're not watching this. Okay, these are some things that are very like simple and easy for us girls. Oh, okay, fine, I'll tell you guys. Oh yeah, I have like <laughs> um, I gave that to Brock as a joke. Yeah, I did. So I really hope Brock is not watching this. I swear, if he is, he ruined his birthday gift. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I actually thought I would give you a little boyfriend slash girlfriend gift guide. I actually get questions all the time in my DMs. What should I get my girlfriend? What should I get my boyfriend? Like, you have such good gift ideas. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Let me just figure out what I gave my boyfriend. Well, I actually made a whole list of a lot of things that I've given my boyfriend and even more. So, I'm actually so excited to give you guys this list. I feel like these gifts are so good. And let me clarify, I am not not like a creative person, but I get a lot of these gift ideas from TikTok. So if you're on TikTok a lot, I would recommend going <laughs> and like scrolling through there because I feel like those are where I get all my good gift ideas, but we'll get started. Okay, so first thing is to get a picture blanket so like a blanket that has a ton of pictures with you guys on it or a minky blanket. I thought those are just good gifts. This is actually a minky blanket if you guys know what we're talking about. This is minky couture. Their blankets are so soft. It's like a dream. They are a little more on the expensive side, but if you're willing to pay it, then whoever you give it to will seriously love you. I sleep with this all the time. But the picture blanket I feel like is a little more special because you know, it's pictures with you guys on it and it's honestly just so cute. So that is one good gift idea. I have not gotten Brock that yet, but I just, just saw a lot of people give that to their boyfriend and girlfriends and so I was like, oh, that's just such a cute idea, so. Okay, then the second is actually craft your own box with pictures. So, I found this little box. I ordered it from, I think it might have been Etsy, but I could totally be wrong. But this was for one year, I think. I gave this to Brock and I actually have a video. I'll put the video here. But anyways, as you can see, that was like the little gift. Here's a little picture up close. It's like you put, you glue your own pictures on this thing and then when you pull it apart, it just spreads out and separates. It was just so cool. That was probably one of my favorite gifts I've given Brock, so I definitely recommend that. Next thing is a love box. So this is actually a box that Brock gave to me, and I seriously love it. I think it's just so fun, and I love the fact that he can message me whenever he wants. It's crazy to think that he's all the way in Tennessee, and then this little message comes to this little box. And when I open it, it says, blah, 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 whatever he said, and I seriously love it. And, okay, guess what I found out? If I go like this, with the lid open, it sends Brock a waterfall of hearts. And so it's just a cute gift, especially for long distance couples. But you can even do it if you live pretty close because it's just fun to send little messages throughout the day. So another good gift for long distance is a lamp light. I'm, I can't think of the name at the moment, but it's basically where you touch and you have like a secret code with these colors. So like, let's say red is I love you and then you just change that color to red and then it would send to their lamp. And oh my gosh, I've always wanted something like that. I'm thinking about getting Brock that, but at the moment <laughs> I'm thinking of other things too. So it's like, oh, I don't know. But it's such a good gift, especially for long distance. So I really want to get that. I would say next thing is if you are in like a really long, serious relationship, you can be in like a short term relationship but I just feel like promise rings are a little more special if you are in a long relationship. I would definitely recommend promise rings. If you have been dating for like two years or what, they're very special. It just feel you just feels like, oh, he really likes me or she really likes me. And I actually got Brock a promise ring. I can't remember what website, but it was, it was just like a black ring. It's like very cute and stuff. And then Brock actually gave me this from Life of Jewels. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's little two gems on it. One is an emerald, which is Brock's birthstone because he's in May and then mine is like a light blue which is December so that's always a good gift a promise ring they're just very special I wear it all the time next thing is a glass album cover and then like you put it on a little lamp that like lights up it's actually really cool I gave one to Brock I'll put a picture right here I'll have him take a picture for you guys so it just said I, I think I did the song forever after all by Luke Combs because I just thought that was such a cute song and I put a little picture of us and then when you turn it on there's like a little thing it stands and it's like a light it's really cool I love it Brock loves it it's a good gift oh okay this one is a super easy one I feel like a lot of people do this but cologne and perfume 
That's always good. Your girlfriend perfume, boy cologne, whatever you like. This actually Brock gave me his cologne before he left because I love to just have his cologne and then I spray it on his hoodies and I can smell them whenever I want. So I just yeah, it's uh, you could also even give your cologne to your girlfriend. They would love that. I even gave perfume to Brock because I felt like he could he would love the spraying it on a hoodie and smelling me whenever he wants. So that's always a good gift, but you can also just give him the perfume or cologne. Which also brings me to hoodies. This is Brock's hoodie. It smells just like the cologne because I spray it literally every night while, while I sleep with it. I love hoodies, especially from Brock, and it's just fun to wear. I wear them to school sometimes, but this is the one I like sleep with because, I don't know, I like to keep it clean because I don't really like lay on top of it or anything, so it's like still clean, but it's just there for me to smell. And I feel like it also like makes me have dreams about him, so it's just kind of fun. I love it. But yeah, hoodies are definitely a 100% oh, they will like it. Which also just brings me to clothes. It could be any clothes. I have lots of Brock's clothes in my closet right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. I have like a ton of his clothes. I wear them all the time. I've worn some to school and they're, they're just fun to have. So either your own clothes or just clothes in general, like go find him a cute shirt or a cute sweatpants or just something like that. I, that's always fun. Which also, another good gift is shoes. You can actually get matching clothes, shoes, or hoodies. I actually have matching shoes with Brock. These are the blazers that I got him. They're like gray. I don't know. They're, they're actually super cute. He wears them all the time. I try to wear mine, but sometimes these don't go with my outfits. But yeah, they're, it's always fun to get matching shoes with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You can get bracelets matching. This is actually bracelets that I've made with Brock. This one actually had a B on it, but the B like snapped in half, and so it's not there anymore. But yeah, we make bracelets all the time. I think it's time for them to come off though, because they're literally like not even, they're bro all broken. But you know what, it, it's so cute. They're just fun bracelets. If you don't like bead bracelets or charm bracelets or whatever, these are also really good bracelets with your boyfriend or girlfriend. These are magnetic bracelets. I gave this to Brock for our two years. So you just put it on, and then when you hold hands, they snap together like how cute is that I love that and oh my gosh we also have like these magnetic necklaces too so every time we hug they like connect together it is so cute I love magnetic things it's just fun to like play with too so those are good but yeah that brings me to necklaces honestly you can give him any necklaces I don't think I've given Brock necklaces before but I know he's giving me a necklace it has a B on it this is his initial I always get questions on where I got this necklace this necklace is from Brennan Bell but yeah it just has his little initial on it and I've worn it ever since he's given it to me never taken it off it's literally one of my favorite things and it's so like elegant and pretty so you can wear it with anything okay so if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that works out I recommend getting workout clothes Brock has been working out so much and I don't want to spoil any of my Christmas gifts Brock I hope you're not watching this but I did give Brock a some workout clothes from JD fit they have like some good workout clothes for boys and there's another workout company that someone sent me and they're like oh it's very popular for boys and I was like oh my gosh I, I need I need to check this out so yeah if you like working out or if your significant other likes working out then I definitely recommend workout clothes and even some workout shoes would be fun and like fine too so I think they would love them. Okay, so this next one is kind of an inside joke with Brock and I. So we went to Target and he saw ropes there and he's like, we should get matching ropes. Like every time Boston and I go to, we always like put on their robes and I was like really like I don't know okay this is such a weird gift I don't know if other if your boyfriend or girlfriend just loves robes but Brock is like we should get matching ones and so I thought it'd be really fun for as an inside joke to just to get matching robes with him <laughs> it's honestly I don't even know if my boyfriend's just the weird one but yeah robes is just up there it's fine, it's fine. Okay, next is very simple, cheap, not expensive at all. It's just cuddles, hugs, and kisses. That's always the best. I know my boyfriend, literally his love language is physical touch, so I know he would love that. Just in general, you can even give him just some love and he would love it. And I know I would love it. If my boyfriend was here and he was giving me love, I would seriously love him forever. So those are always just super fun and simple. Okay, so another one is dinner date, like a really nice dinner or it could even be like a chick-fil-a thing but that's always fun that's always like a date that I feel like everyone does but 
I just feel like if you haven't gone on a day in a while, I feel like that's very nice. You go to Cheesecake Factory or you go somewhere cheaper like Chick-fil-A. I feel like any girl would love that. I love food and honestly, I think any guy would love that too because I feel like they eat way more than us girls, but we get very ornery if we don't have food. So it's like, it's a win-win for both. So dinner is always nice, but this is the little turnaround. If one person pays for the dates all the time, switch it around and pay for them. So like, well, okay, I have a boyfriend that will literally never let me pay, but I'm going to force my way into paying. That's always so good. I need to pay for him, I swear. He like kills me with like, I can never pay. And it bugs me so bad. Like I, we always make a scene at the restaurant. I'm like, bro, just let me pay. Like I'll like grab his card and just throw it somewhere else. So yeah, just, oh, I think paying for the other person is always just generous and I feel like it's just a good gift. Okay, so I asked you guys on Instagram what are some things you are getting your boyfriend or girlfriend and a lot of you guys actually said massage gun for like like their sports that they do or just work out. Brock actually already has a massage gun but I just thought I'd mention it to you guys. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that works out or has a sport, get them a massage gun because honestly it feels really good on the muscles. Okay, these are some things that are very like simple and easy for us girls or even some guys face masks are nice self-care stuff if you like can find some like little rollers like anything like I know I would love face masks I love doing my little self-care nights and even if you guys did it together it'd be so fun just go to Target grab some stuff and then have like a little self-care night it's best possible gift and you can also get them candle candles are the way to go they smell good you'll all they'll always use them always keep bumps it's always nice okay this one is actually a super good one so I feel like a lot of people do this but get them a stuffed animal stuffed animals are always so good this one oh yeah Brock actually gave me this one it was weird we actually got the same stuffed animal from the same place but didn't know <laughs> but this is, this is my little stuffed animal I always have it in my love box what would I oh no sorry I call it the Brock box, not love box I have a Brock box you guys I have some bracelets on here I actually have you know what, I'll just go through it really fast. So, stuffed animal, yes, another gift, can be a little clay thing. This is actually our two hands holding each other. Yeah, it's very chalky still. I haven't figured that out, but this is in my, oh wait, no, it's not anymore. <gasps> It's finally cleared away. But I actually love this. It's something that we could keep forever. You can see that's my ring right there. This is just like a little clay thing. It's always fun. Some other things I have are some corsages. Corsages from dances. <laughs> I cannot say that word right now. But yeah, I actually have our first dance corsage in here. So those are always fun to keep. And then, oh my gosh, this, okay, this is like, these things are like from arcades. I actually have this, oh my gosh. I have the shirt that I wore when we first met. Look how tiny that is. This is the first shirt that I wore when we met. How amazing is that? I love that I could keep that. If you guys have like your first shirt of you met or picture or whatever, definitely recommend keeping that. And then this was also another thing. We weren't dating at the time. It was like 2017, I believe, when we first like started hanging out. We did like a spray paint their like ba basement, which was so fun. And so I kept the tank top. But yeah, the that's basically my Brock box. I have like everything in there. So the next one, like stuffed animals. I think it would be very fun for you guys to go to Build-A-Bear. This is my Build-A-Bear. It has Brock's voice in it. I'm not gonna play it, because that'd be a little awkward. But we actually went to Great Wolf Lodge together for Clamor. It's like this little convention we went to. And we got a little wolf from Great Wolf Lodge. And it's so cute. He has like Willie, I think is his name. And then this one's Violet. I think we have the birth certificate still. I think I saved it. Yeah, look. Violet, May 19th, one day after, or one day before Brock's birthday. And it says place of birth, Arizona, Scottsdale. And then belongs to Kesley Leary. So we have like the birth certificates. And then we have the little stuffed animal. So that one's always such a good gift. Okay. Okay, so another thing that you guys kept saying that you got your boyfriend or girlfriend is socks. Like Nike socks are so easy. I love Nike socks. Um, Brock actually gave me some last year and I love them. I wear them like every time, especially with like my docks and everything. And I know Brock loves Nike socks, so I feel like that's a good gift. Okay, this next one I feel like is very special. So this isn't Brock's or mine or anything. Brock's mom, Betsy, um, actually gave this to my mom. It's 
Logan's. So these are what the stars look like when Logan, my brother, passed away. So this was December 29th, 2006. You can actually go back way in time to see what the stars look like. But this is like a stars align. I don't think the girl that makes these are doing it anymore, but I think you can find some people on Etsy that do this. But as you can see, this is like the stars. And it's just such a special gift. Like I actually want to give Brock the day we met. So July 5th, no, not, not the day. Well, actually we did meet on July 15th, but the day we got together. That's the crazy thing about us getting together is we met on July 15th and then got together a year later on Ju July 15th So but yeah, I feel like it'd be very special to just give him what our stuff what the stars look like when we started dating So another thing is hats simple easy Brock loves hats I know he would love a new hat It could be even a hat of his favorite football team or basketball team or baseball team or whatever Which also brings me to tickets to his favorite game or favorite team So I think at least my boyfriend loves loves football game like loves them and I didn't go but I was invited to go to BYU like my dad had some tickets and he's like do you and Brock want to go and I was like mm, no <laughs> sorry I'm just not a big fan of like watching football games so I should have gone but you can always get him tickets they are a little more on the expensive side but just a good gift give him tickets to their favorite team okay so this next one I actually gave Brock one of them so this is a phone case especially from case if I feel like case if is the best place to get a phone case because they have a phone case that is like a photo collage. I actually gave Brock one. I've shown you in videos. I'll just put a picture right there. That's Brock's phone case. It has all pictures of us and it's like a little collage. If you go to Caseify, you can actually you go to www.caseify.com forward slash Kesley J to get a discount. That just helps. I just want to mention that because they are a little more expensive also, but you can get a discount with my name. Okay, a lot of these are very simple or things that you probably already have given them. So like food and candy, and then I also have gift card to their favorite place on here. So like Chick-fil-A, Cheesecake Factory, I don't know. Just give them a gift card, Target, honestly. Like I love Target, I love a gift card to Target. Anything that like saves money too, well, not really saves money, but like saves money for them. It's always nice, you know? And then another thing, Brock always gives these, gives this to me are flowers. Flowers are always special. I love flowers. I actually kept all my flowers from Brock and then they got very, very old. I put them in a box, that's the thing. So I kept them on the top of my closet and they were fine. Cause I think they were like, it still kept alive a little bit, but dead. But it's cause they had like oxygen. But then I put them in a box and they just like molded up into nasty things. And so I was like, okay, looks like I'm gonna throw throw these away. So I was really sad because I threw all the flowers away, but I still love getting flowers from Brock. <laughs> okay, so this is another thing that I gave Brock. I'll put a picture right here. For two years, I actually gave him a keychain with a special date. So it was just the day we started dating. And then a picture on the other side. So it's like the date and the calendar and then the picture of us. And he puts it on his keychain. So that's always a fun one. And then another thing, if you actually get a lot of these things, I would get a basket and you could do a basket of their favorite things. Like I saw a TikTok where where this girl gave her girlfriend a hoodie and like tons of candy and glitter and it was just such a cute gift. So I feel like basket of their favorite things is a good one. Next is the classic letters. Letters, letters, letters. I actually, wait, these are not letters. These are my pictures. I like so many pictures of Brock on here. Oh, they're all upside down. But letters are always the best. These are all my letters I have from Brock. This is my trip to Hawaii. He saw me before I left. And then another one, I think that's Valentine's Day. I don't know, I have like so many letters and I've kept them every single one. And they're so cute. Yeah, this one says I knew right away. I knew right away. And I think I have a bigger letter. Oh yeah, I have like Never mind. That was an inside joke. That was an inside joke. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was an inside joke. I swear. That's not an actual letter. Um, I gave that to Brock as a joke. Yeah, I did. Just ignore that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but if you did, that's a little awkward. But yeah. Oh, this is actually my first note that I got from Brock. Let's see when it was. He put the date on here, I think. Never mind, he didn't. But yeah, this is the first letter I ever got from Brock. And then these are just the rest. Here's a big one. So, letters are always super good. We love letters. I don't know, I love letters. My favorite thing. Oh yeah, okay. I forgot about this. This wasn't on my list, but this is another good gift idea. You can send your names to Mars. Um, This is Kesley and Brock, and I love you. I like the thing. So, we send our names to Mars, so if we ever, I hate saying this, but if we ever, you know what? We'll still be together on another planet. So, that's always fun. I always thought of it that way. But yeah, I don't like to think about that. 
Okay, this was my favorite gift I have ever gotten from Brock. So this is a little chat book or scrapbook or whatever you wanna call it. So this actually has a picture of me and Brock on it, as you can see. Brock gave this to me for my birthday and it literally has all of the pictures from when we started or when we first met into all the way into like 2020 of my birthday, so. It was, it's such a good gift. There's like so many pictures on here. <laughs> You're probably like pausing to read everything, but yeah, just super cute. We have like a random pictures on here. It says a ton of things, little quotes. You can write like little stuff that you did that night. Like he wrote November 6, 2020. We went hammocking together and spent the night doing face masks and just cuddling. We definitely got the cutest pics that this night. I love them all. That's what he said. They're just like good things. I love it. This is the best birthday gift I have ever been given. Okay, another gift is just a picture frame. I actually have over there. It's literally just a picture frame with us in it. I actually made that one myself, but it's always a good gift. Just a picture. It's nice to have like a little picture in your room on like next to your table, next to your bed. So, okay. I have another long distance thing. It's a touch bond bracelet. So it actually vibrates every time you touch it. So if you say, let's say I love you is three touches. So it goes one, two, three. And then to the person it goes, zzz, zzz, zzz. but it, like it doesn't hurt, but it just make it just lets you know that they love you. And I just thought that was a really cute long distance gift. That's either, it's either the touch bond that I want or the lamp light. I think it, I want the lamp light, but I think that might be a little more expensive, so I might do the touch bond. I think that's just a cute gift. Okay, and some other things that you guys said are watch and wallet. I actually saw a girl say like an engraved wallet, and I'm like, oh, like, like did you put like, did you engrave your name in the wallet? I feel like that would be a good gift. And then the last but not least, I gave this to Brock, and he said this is actually his top three gift. It's a digital frame with a video, if that makes sense. So it's a picture frame, but it plays a video. Like how cool is that? I saw that from TikTok. I was in love. I was so excited to get it. And when I got it, it was the coolest thing ever. Um, it plays just one of our TikToks. So it's literally a frame. I'll just have a picture right here so you guys can see. And then it plays a video. So it's like really cool. I don't know what the website is, but I bet you if you just type in like digital frame boyfriend, stuff. I don't know. I feel like it'd pop up, but you guys, that is like my whole list for boyfriend slash girlfriend gift guide. That was like the longest list, but I feel like that would help. It definitely helps me. I actually think I have so many things that I'm going to give Brock. Oh, never mind actually. Okay, fine. I'll tell you guys. Okay, so I just ordered lantern festival tickets and guess what? on his birthday and so for his birthday I got him that well it's like December but it, it was it was on a discount right now because of Black Friday so I was like I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go so I ordered him and then for his birthday that's one for his birthday and then for when it comes closer to his birthday I'm gonna get him a plane ticket so he has no choice but to come down and then on his birthday we'll go to the lantern festival and I'm so excited so I really hope Brock is not watching this I swear if he is he ruined his birthday gift so Anyways, <laughs> that's, I just wanted to tell you guys because I feel like that's also a good gift. If you guys have lantern festivals around your area, then I definitely recommend. I'm excited. They're so cute. It's, it's like a tangle moment. I'm so excited. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this boyfriend slash girlfriend gift guide. I hope it helped. And make sure to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.